find this and other great figures at ThinkBetToyStore.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Vault Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at the Legacy Power Rangers Tiger Zord, or White Tiger Zord. Now, this figure has been highly, highly sought after by most folks in the Power Rangers community, and, well, I finally got a hold of it thanks to just randomly going to Toys R Us one day. Now, this figure is really, really nice. I don't think I can say or even just expound upon you just how good this figure looks in person. It is very clean. The light, the paint is very nice. None of this stuff that you see here are stickers. It's just a very, very solid job done by Bandai. It retails currently for $79.99. And to be honest, I am not I I do not have a problem paying that amount for a figure that looks this good. I really don't know what else I can say other than man this looks fine. Now some of you may already notice that this figure does pack in posability where the original Tiger Sword does not. It has elbow joints and it also has wrist joints where you can twirl the wrist. Not only that, but the hands open and close. There is a single hinge for the fingers, and that allows the figure to easily grip the saber, which is also very nice. Even though the saber is made of floppy-ish plastic, it's done and painted very nicely. I like it a lot. The other posability this guy has is some knee posability, which I wasn't expecting. Other than that, that's it in terms of posability. Now, the figure does not have any lights or sounds, unfortunately, but I'm okay with that. Transformation for the guy is pretty easy, which we'll get into here in just a second. But I want to zoom in and give you guys a look at the face. It's actually a very well-done face, but much, much wider than the original figure's face. And we'll be comparing the two here in a moment, because I actually have the original White Tiger Zord. The Tiger Zord's transformation is virtually identical to his original counterpart. Push the head in, fold the torso up. Torso does not slide in and out. Flip out the tiger feet over the fists. Rotate them around into place. Take the legs, and the legs will swing up into the body. But before you do that, you do need to deploy the tiger feet in the rear. And those simply flip out on some decent quality ratchets. Flip, unpeg them, flip them up, flip them out. And I actually like to angle the arm or the front feet or front part forward and attach the tail. And there we go. Now, the Tiger Zord in Zord mode is quite nice. It's just solid looking. I really don't have any complaints. I would like to be able to maybe put the arms up straight a little bit better. Uh, it does look a little bit better, but it looks awfully similar to Samurai... Sa no, I'm sorry. Safari Toho? or The Safari Zord from Tokuger. Overall, a solid, solid toy. I still think $79 or $80 bucks is a little bit of a high asking price, but I can't argue with the quality of this figure. Now moving on to the comparison part of the review, you can see that the two different Tiger Zords are very similar. We have the new Legacy version on the left and the original one on the right. You can also see that the head sculpts are completely different. I'm sorry if you hear some weird sounds or some weird banging in the background. My son is playing with some cups. Overall, the two are very similar, but I think the new one actually works a little bit better. And the reason I say that is because the new one really feels like the original show more than the old one does. I think the old one is just a little bit over blocky, while the new one is much better proportioned. 
Both of the figures are roughly the same size, with the new one being just a smidge smaller, and the old one having more lights and sounds gimmicks than the original one does. The battery pack is right here, as you can see. I will be reviewing the original Tiger Zord at a later date, though, but I wanted to give you guys just a quick example or a quick look at the differences between the two units. Now, they also differ in swords. Here is the original sword, and here is the new one. As you can see, the new one is significantly smaller than the old one, but is more sturdy, I think, than the old ones. Since there are no Legacy Thunder Zords for the Tiger Zord to combine with, he will have to combine with parts of the Legacy Megazord. For the Legacy Megazord, all we're going to do is just rip off the Sabertooth Tiger and the Triceratops. And for this guy, we will first flip down his crest, or his helmet, then pop his legs out, and actually we're going to remove the Tiger Zord feet, spread the chest open, which earlier I said it couldn't do, but it totally can. I'm just adult. Fold up the legs, and attach the Zord Builder parts. And sadly, that's pretty much all she wrote. The last bit is to fold down the shoulders and attach nothing because we don't have anything that goes on these shoulders. My thinking is that with Tommy being such a, or JDF being as big an influence on Saban as he is, I'm willing to bet the White Tiger Zord got introduced first, and then at some point we'll get the Thunder Zords. It's not looking like we're going to get the Thunder Zords this year, though, because unfortunately, as we saw at Toy Fair, which just ended the weekend before I recorded this, we are getting a black and gold MMPR Megazord. So in other words, that is a fourth release of this mold. What makes the new combination even sadder is when you compare it to its original combination, yeah, there's really no way to compare these two. The The original Thunder Zords and White Tiger Zord combination is far, far superior to this. But there is always fun to be had with the Zord Builder components. If you've got enough of them, you can make some really funky stuff. I think the White Tiger Zord is an overall good figure and worth having in your collection, especially if you're a serious MMPR fan. The fact that we don't have the Thunder Zords or any idea when the Thunder Zords are coming is a major detriment, and I feel that, that Bandai is really kind of shooting itself in the foot by not saying when they're coming out or even if they are coming out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy White Tiger Zord. As always, I am Bolt Matrix asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.